All right, gang, Jason here for the Love of Trackers. Today we're gonna review a brown box. That's right, this brown box is, from... no we're not, no we're not. Let me open this up. All right, it is the Case IH 9250 2022 Farm Show Edition. So, uh, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I think one of the things going forward I'm gonna collect are Farm Show Combines, or Farm, farm Show Case IH, Farm Show Trackers, Combines, etc. And mostly uh, Case IH Chasers and things about that, especially if they're quad tracks. So, here's this guy. One thing I love about the, this Farm Show Edition in particular, I love this box. Really great looking box here. Um, on the top you've got this cool top view. Check out this huge header back here. And then, moving back there, kind of get the other view. So, what I'm going to do is let's get this thing out of the box and let's just see what this thing's like. Oh man, my uh, my red combine's gold. Yeah, nuts. Yeah, if anybody got a red one and want, wants to trade with me, uh, just hit me up in the comment. Just kidding, just kidding. I got, I got jokes. I got terrible jokes tonight, but I got jokes. So I got the chaser. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm that guy now. I don't know. Um, I like them. So, this is the special red chrome edition uh, 2022 combine, and that's the regular one. The regular one's just red. There's really nothing chrome about it. I don't know why they call it the red chrome edition, or I guess they just call it the chrome edition. But there were these nifty chasers uh, that inserted into them. So now the really interesting thing about this uh, Case IH 92 50 combine is you only get the draper header no corn head on these so that's kind of interesting um i think the draper does look nice in gold with the black belts and that uh the reel of course does turn Not a lot of ton of detail on the reel but i mean it's you know it's a it's an ertl combine i don't expect too much uh nifty that you got the wheels over here although they're just kind of there you can't do anything with them and then over here as well so that's kind of cool i think a uh, little detail would be nice though if you could actually uh, you know use those the way they're intended to be used so here's here's the first thing i notice about the gold chaser is this paint on the die cast looks excellent it's nice and gold uh you can kind of see some flake in it i think it's cool the areas that are plastic the auger here cab top ladder the header to some extent they don't look too good they don't really look gold to me they're more beige i don't know they're i don't know how well that shows up uh, on the camera here the difference between the two but i'm a little disappointed in how that looks now I, again i think this is cool i don't know what this i don't know yeah, anyway i get it uh plastic paint's different than than die cast or it's a different process and all of that so auger folds i guess you probably want to go pretty much all the way out although if you go all the way out you're pretty much into your header and then being a combine we've got to do the grain cart test look at that fantastic job from Ertl. the header does fit over the cart even if we're just out to the side here and that gives you a little more space on your header <laughs> if you wanted to just go that far. But uh, you're probably going to run it in that neighborhood. So you can see it from the operating platform easily. Anyway, plenty of clearance. So got to appreciate that. Ertl did a nice job there. So there's, other, there's some other really nice details on this. Um, so you've got all your ladders, uh, ladders, your rails back here and all of that. Uh, there's sort of what would be... Uh, some detail back here, not a ton. You have some painted on flashers and SMB sign. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this feller back around. It is the extended auger double fold. Of course we are on tracks. I will say this black tire back here with the kind of silver or chrome accent looks excellent. And as do the chrome accents on your bogey wheels on your tracks. On the ladder, we get a nice black ladder with the silver accents, really not a lot of railing going on here. Maybe some simulated railing there, but not much. Do have flashers, and we do have our rails here. So, those do look fine. Uh, I have to say, the mirrors and flashers look very good 
on this combine. I'm really uh, pretty happy with those. They don't fold or anything like that. I don't know. They probably wouldn't, really. Um, you do get your Farm Show Edition sticker there, which does not read too well. There, I can finally read it. It says Farm Show 2022 Case IH. Uh, as far... It is really glary on the uh, sort of gold paint on the plastic here. Uh, not a ton of detail in your grain bin. You got your tip tops, of course, and you do have the auger just casted in one piece there, so not a ton of detail there. Anyway, there is your clean grain auger and all that on the side. You got a little bit of detail there, so that's nice. The feeder house does go up and down. It will stay sort of in the up position, but it will not stay all the way, like there's all the way up. But it'll stay, it'll stay sort of up, and then you can go all the way down if you want to. So, I mean, there is, you know, there's something to that, I guess. And, of course, you got your fan and your clean screen over here and all of that. So, guys, there she is, boys. The 2022, yeah, no, I'm a little late. The uh, 2023 farm show is coming up, huh? But uh, 2022 Case IH Axle Flow Chrome Edition 9250. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves an awesome day. Happy tracker hunting.